that's what we'll do. All right, so with Jabali being pregnant, Kiran, what are some of the parameters that we have for baby proofing? Yeah, so uh, just like any parents would do when they bring their kid home from the hospital, uh, they want to kind of protect the house and make sure that the baby is completely safe when, um, when they're kind of all over the house. So we have our indoor exhibit, we have our outdoor exhibit, and we've had to do a lot of modifications to make sure that it's nice and safe for Jabali's uh, baby on the way. So uh, the first few months after the baby is born, Jabali's going to do a really good job of cradling that infant. So she's just going to hold on to it 24-7 um, for the first few months. And then after like two or three, then the baby's going to start uh, kind of venturing off on their own. Um, and that's where our parameters kind of come into play. All right. Uh, so what kind of modifications are we going to be making to the exhibit? So uh, for those of you familiar, we've got a lot of um, vines and fire hose and handholds, and we've got our big tall uh, structure in the outdoor exhibit. Um, so what we've had to do is kind of just add even more stuff to that. Uh, more handholds, because the baby's gonna need to learn how to climb, and obviously they're very small, so they're gonna need even more handholds to be able to grab onto. Uh, they're also gonna need kind of uh, filling in the gaps all over the exhibits. Um, that the baby might uh, be able to squeeze into or fall through because obviously a lot smaller than a full-grown gorilla here. Um, anything you know sharp, we've kind of had to cover or modify. We've added uh, lower furniture, like you can see kind of in our exhibit, we've got a lot of hammocks up high and platforms and stuff like that. Uh, we've added stuff on the ground, some lower logs, some lower hammocks so that uh, for the baby, they can get into those lower hammocks, kind of learn how to be a gorilla starting at the smaller scale. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so, obviously, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff into the exhibit. What needs to come out of the exhibit? So, we have to be careful when we're putting in their enrichment or the stuff they're kind of interacting with, because obviously the baby could get into some trouble. Um, anything really big or anything that could roll over, we want to make sure we're not putting in or at least securing if that falls over, it could really hurt the baby. So we want to make sure all of that is taken into consideration whenever we're picking out our enrichment for the day. Um, and then there's also certain things that we can't uh, give to the gorilla group uh, because it's not safe or healthy for the baby. So uh, same with humans, they can't have honey. And we like to use honey as enrichment for our uh, gorillas here. And we'll kind of uh, scatter it on different objects for them. Um, but we're obviously going to have to take a step back from that so it doesn't uh, endanger the baby. There's something in honey, like the way that bees produce honey. Something's in it, like an enzyme maybe? Yeah. I don't know. There's something in it that babies can't digest or can't Whenever you come to uh, Utah's Hogel Zoo, you can kind of see we have uh, this bedding. We've got hay and straw and burlap and all this extra stuff. That's for the gorillas to nest in and sleep in. Uh, when the baby arrives, and actually before the baby arrives, we're going to baby-proof all of the exhibits, and there's going to be a ton of that bedding all around, and that's just for the protection, because the baby might uh, trip, it might fall, even as a small fall from that lower structure there, um, we're gonna make sure there's a couple of inches, even a couple of feet of bedding, so that it's nice and cushiony when, or if, and when the baby falls. Right. And then Hannah, so obviously the kid's gonna grow up, and as the baby gets older, are we gonna be doing any more changes to the exhibit? Oh yeah, of course we are. These uh, changes are gonna be kind of ongoing, and obviously as the kid develops, he's going to be getting more motor skills, he's going to be moving around more, he or she, I should say. Uh, they're going to be moving around a lot more, they're going to be exploring a lot more, so as they grow and they change, we're definitely going to have to look at the exhibit uh, throughout that time and make sure that we're keeping up with them, uh, making sure that things are safe for them as they uh, progress in life.